Good morning. I just wanted to let you know that I am getting faster on my bike and here are the things that are helping. Okay, first of all, I splurged and I invested in a couple of these halo bands that keep the sweat out of your eyes and since I'm not having to rub my face constantly and I can keep my hands on the handlebars, I think that's helping my speed some. The other thing that's helping my speed is not having saddle sores or being sore. I've been using Cycle Booty. It's like a two to three step process. You have a uh, glide chafe cream for when you're riding. There's the um, what I think works really is what's working for me is the citrus cleanser and then this the lotion has got whatever is in it it's all natural it's all things you can pronounce but whatever's in it which you can see a list of it online it soothes those areas and so I am actually stronger on the bike now because I'm not wincing in pain constantly um, I did add an Angie sensor to my helmet that definitely did not make me faster um, I do have new fulcrum threes there they are and they probably they probably contribute to making me maybe a half a mile an hour faster that's probably about it i haven't invested in fancy glasses or fancy helmet or anything like that I haven't really taken any other weight off the bike and i'm usually riding with two full bottles of water and a dazer hanging from the front the dazer this is to keep when um, dogs come after me and that does affect my speed like today my speed was down a little bit because i had to slow down and click at a dog that was about to run after me and the days are just it it just breaks their oodala oodle loop and um, refocuses them so the dazer doesn't make me any faster it just makes me not have to stop <laughs> for the dogs uh, the other thing i did was um i put an ism saddle on here and that helps with the stiffness and soreness and the other thing i did was was purely kind of not hocus pocus but i i got a bracelet for myself and i don't have it on right now because i just got back from riding but i had it inscribed with my name and bill's name and my goal of 17.4 for us riding together and this weekend we made it to 17.1 uh, or 17.0 and I, I'm making it in like 16.6. It's kind of been my average by myself. So once we meet that speed goal, then we can work some more on distance goals. And I'm learning more about getting into the smaller chain ring. And I think all of these things just add up to your comfort on the bike and being able to, to just increase that speed a little bit. I just, I just want to push it up just a little bit more. So right. see how I have kind of a line right there that's from the halo headband and when i was ordering these i've got the lime green the pink not the one called carmelia or whatever but the hot pink the turquoise and the lime green and lime green i think is in the wash but the turquoise i got in kind of the waffle weave and the pink i got in the original style and what they have is they have a little sweat channel that goes right here on your face and it might sound strange to say that this is one of the things that's helping make me faster, but because I'm not crying all the time with the sweat dripping down in my eyes and the salt in my eyes, this is maybe making me able to keep my hands on the handlebars and concentrate a little bit more. My original one was red. It was a hand-me-down from Bill, and I had been putting it in the washer and the dryer, and I think the dryer is what caused the little strip to finally come off. So I have been very carefully hand washing these and setting them out. So I think the other green one is just drying somewhere. This is the tie style. There's a kind that doesn't have ties, but then I was thinking when it stretches out, uh, you know, what do you, what do you do? So this one, I noticed that the other day when I put it on, I put it on and then about halfway through the ride, I did have to tighten it because it was brand new, but they come in great colors, of course, that match all my Vander Kitten cool stuff. And this is one of the things that's helping me be a lot more comfortable on the bike and ride faster. The other item that I mentioned that was kind of a silly one that's helping me go a little bit faster is I have an inspiration bracelet. I guess it's sort of like when people have an inspo board and they put things on there and dream about them. That's my goal. Well, this goal I wear right on my wrist. It says Bill and Kim 17.4 because that is my goal. And I ordered this from Amazon, but it comes from a jewelry company that I've known about for decades. And that's Ross Simmons. 
and I'm not affiliated with them or anything, but I've just, this has always been a brand that for special occasions, I've received jewelry from my parents or from friends. My necklace came from my girlfriend Mara's sailing buddy, and it comes beautifully, beautifully packaged. It comes with a little dust bag and a little description of how to care for it, and the presentation box is just um, recognizable and beautiful and it's really nice to have the little little bag for it but I just wanted kind of a tangible something to look at during the day to go yes eat right hydrate get your sleep just kind of a visual visible reminder something to to like a manifestation piece is that what you would call it manifest my dream there it is uh, that's my Fitbit because that counts my steps and that's my stainless watch that is actually easier to read the time on that than a Fitbit but my Fitbit says I have 7,000 steps I know that some of that is this morning's 20 miles of cycling but isn't that just a lovely a lovely way to remind yourself of your goal was not horribly expensive and in fact when we meet the 17.4 the next one will be a 18.5 and then a 19.6. That's my plan. So just a nice way to remind me of our goal. All right, so here I am post ride and yeah, you can still see a line up there. If that's the worst that woman had to complain about was that you might have a line on your forehead after cycling. Well, just don't cycle right before really important dinner parties right so i've got my halos right there hand washed and they're just hanging to dry one trick you can do is you can if you if you hand wash something like my gloves i hand wash and the halos i hand wash put it between two towels or double over a towel and stand on it and that will wick a lot of the moisture out if you don't happen to have two of something so that you can rotate i think i am going to have to order another pair of gloves because sometimes mine aren't quite dry if I ride right away or if I forget and wash them the next day. But if I wash them right away, they're usually ready on time. The other review of the halos I saw, somebody said that the pink one, that the black had bled onto the pink and they said it was ruined and unusable. And I'm thinking it kind of, it goes under your helmet. Nobody's really gonna see it but you. And it kind of looked kind of cool like tie dye, but I was just really careful and washed mine in cold water the first time and I didn't have any trouble at all with them. Here's the green halo. This is how they come packaged. I wasn't really thrilled about all the plastic, but I will find a use for that. I always save these bags and use them for something else. So this is how they come initially. I'm not sure what this is that falls out of it every time. I don't know if that's, I don't know where that part goes, but it's got some information there on pre-wash cold, hang dry, tells you about the wet seal tells you the the features one of the features is sweat block seal <laughs> one size fits all adjustable and I just thought that the green was a really really nice just a nice bright color I know nobody can actually see this under my helmet but it sure works great for keeping the sweat out of your eyes so you don't have to keep doing this constantly. This one is the bright green halo one and the other one that I showed you that was like a waffle weave, the turquoise was the halo two. So I'm just trying both so that I can kind of see, you know, just one work better than the other. But these things are just wonderful. And yep, I still have, yep, I still have the, see, yep, right there. Oh well, I wasn't crying during my ride. That's all that matters, right? <laughs> I don't know, you look sort of like a, um, a pilgrim. I don't know, what about behind, like that? Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So those are all the things I've been doing that have been working to make me faster on the bike. So thanks for watching. Hope you found some of this useful. I'll leave links to everything below so that if you also need some sort of a, sort of a cleansing, program that will help you with saddle sores. This is amazing stuff. Finally, I found something that works really great. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Bye.